Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Safa. Today I'm going to be doing a spoiler-filled reading vlog for The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. So this is actually my reread. I'm reading it for the second time around. And why I chose to read this one in particular, I think it's because since The Stolen Air came out, everyone's been talking about, you know, Surin and just how she's been in the series for some point. I don't know when and where she was in it, so I decided to pick this up just to see if she pops in at some point. Anyway, so let's get into it. But then be aware, if you have not read this series, specifically this book only, maybe skip to the end. Let's get into the vlog. as good as time as any to really update you about where I'm at in The Cruel Prince. So I am about page 61. I'm like almost finished this chapter. I kind of just stopped halfway. So basically we got to the point where the world is introduced. We met Carta and Jude, all her family, her parents were killed, all that fun stuff. <laughs> fun stuff. And um, basically we're at the point where Jude asked Maddox if she can participate in the tournament under like his banner wearing his sash and he said like hell no. And so she's upset about it, kind of ignoring him. And so her and her two sisters, Taryn and Vivi, decided to go back to the human realm to see Heather, this mysterious figure in Vivi's life. So that's exactly where I'm at right now. So they have had a few interactions with Cardin at this point and his friends Locke, Valerian, and Nicasia. Honestly, they're a bunch of assholes. No one likes them at all. I think this is the reason why a lot of people are usually against this series is because there's a bit of bullying in the beginning. The whole premise is like Cardin is the cruel prince. He is not someone that anyone likes because he just has this terrible reputation of basically destroying anyone who comes across in his way and kind of, I don't know, messes up his mood. Like he's just that kind of a bad personality in the beginning. Right now, it's it's just slow. I can see why when I initially read it, it took a lot of time for me to really get into the story and I'm kind of feeling the same way again. So I feel like the point where it really gets interesting is probably the halfway point where I think a lot of things starts to happen with Jude especially in terms of the whole thing about the knighthood, the whole incident with I think Locke was it? Or Valerian? <laughs> I forgot it. It's been a long time. Do I think my ratings will change from the last time I uh, read them? Uh, I don't think so. I feel like when you read something the second time you lose that initial surprise that you would kind of expect when you read it the first time like because I already know what's gonna happen it just kind of loses that effect. Okay so let's get back into the vlog. should update you on the cruel prince so it's been a few days since i picked it up so now i'm on page 158 a little less than halfway through the book so we're at the point basically where jude has started training with the court of shadows an incident happened with valerian where she basically stabbed him kind of out of self-defense because he was literally about to kill her her and taryn are basically trying to run away from that whole situation and then Locke comes into the big here's the thing about Locke. Locke is always like a mysterious guy very 
tricksterish. He never really belonged to an, a specific side. He was always kind of on his own, always toying with people's emotions. That's just like his character. Yeah, it's, I'm always skeptical of him. So at this point, I'm gonna see how much more I can get done today. I don't know, maybe I'll finish today, if not tomorrow, because I honestly really want to finish this and get it over with. Other news. So on my previous video, I think I mentioned something about how I wanted to pick up the Shadowhunters Chronicles again from where I left off in the Mortal Instruments, but somebody mentioned to me that I actually can start reading the Infernal Devices. They said that if I continue the Mortal Instruments where I was, then I would probably be prone to some minor spoilers in terms of what happens in the Infernal Devices. So I'm going to take that as my green light to go and purchase the Infernal Devices. This is going to be really exciting because this is, if anyone knows, this this is the series that I've wanted to really read in this whole world. Maybe you'll see in the future I'm gonna go buy it. I really want to go in person to buy it in Indigo, but the problem is, like I mentioned before, Indigo had this whole cybersecurity incident. They say they're allowing in-person transactions now and not just cash, cash purchases, but at the same time, like I want to get points with my purchases, so I think I'm gonna wait a little bit till like everything's kind of back to normal, but stay tuned for when I buy those books because it will come soon. Anyway, let's just continue finishing this, and I think I'm gonna get some more studying done today. I have a lot of work to catch up on. It's actually my reading week this week, and I should really finish some stuff. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Okay, update on the Cruel Prince now. I'm on page 218. So at this point, Jude has like actually killed Valerian. That guy needed to go. He's literally a complete psycho. And what else? Oh yeah, so she was trying to save this mortal girl named Sophie. But I always like, I don't know. I don't get this part clearly. Clearly she didn't want to live. So I was like, what just happened? Either way, her and Vivi are kind of a little depressed over it specifically Jude, and then the ghost um, was talking to her about it. She's saying, oh, it's your first kill. Oh, no, 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 I'm confusing it. She's talking about Valerian. That guy needed to go, though. So whatever. At this point, they are preparing to head to the coronation, and they got their dresses and whatnot. And right now, they're revealing clues about the acorn, about Liriope's death, and how it's related to the High King and Dane. So at this point, it's gonna get to the big reveals. Honestly, I think what we're missing at this point is just like, it's such a slow start to really get into this book. Like, I feel like the good parts don't really happen until like this, this point in the book, which is really sad and like kind of slow. But like, I really wanted to see more Cardin in the beginning. I didn't realize like he's barely in it compared to like the last two books. But I know in the end we do get to see him more, but hopefully he makes a much more bigger presence than I expected or remember. But anyway, let's continue. Okay, so updates on the cruel prince i i think i'm getting close to three quarters of the weight done now i have to say it's turning out like not as an exciting read for me as i hoped it would be the first time i read the cruel prince i felt like i don't know why i was more engaged with it right now it's like really slow i feel like i only really started getting interested in rereading it again was at the point where the coronation was happening which is like a pretty good amount into the book and then at that point and onward it's like picks up because then you start to see more Cardin and then 
um Jude really starts to come out as like a spy in this stuff it's just like I don't know I'm just not as interested in it as I was the first time I read it which is kind of sad but I don't I don't know I feel like I might just give it like a three star rating that's just what it feels right now so it's kind of disappointing <laughs> but I'm gonna finish it today I'm almost done and then I can read something else finally I think next I'm going to read my mangas because I wanted to do like a manga vlog anyway so let's just finish this because I am dying to finish this thing finished The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. It has been a long time coming and honestly nothing feels better than to finish a book you've been kind of dreading to read but you just want to finish at the same time and I'm so glad I got through it. I did not realize I honestly did not like it this much. There was a couple things that I think I didn't notice the first time around when I read it. It's just the amount of bullying and just teasing in the beginning that was almost like a little too much for my liking. I I guess when you read it initially, you don't notice some of the smaller details. And then obviously this time around, I picked up on a lot of it. So I did not like it much in the beginning. It took a long time for me to say where it got interesting. Like specifically the part where I think it started to pick up and become more engaging in the story was to the point where I think Jude was learning to become a spy and it was like a few days before the coronation like up until that point it was pretty boring but afterwards it started to pick up and I think also because since the book is called The Cruel Prince I think you would expect to see a little bit more card in the beginning but he honestly isn't really doing much up until like the last hundred pages which is kind of annoying but then again I guess like in the beginning it's supposed to be a little ambiguous as to who he is and what his character is like other than like he's just known for being like the cruel prince you know. So am I gonna read the last two books? I don't think so. A because I don't have time and I don't really want to read the last two books. Also my indigo order for the stolen air is still MIA. I don't know when I'm gonna get it back but uh when it does I'll be sharing it in a book haul. Honestly though, I think I'm just gonna do a book haul without it and just like have this book, but like put a sticky note on top that says a stolen air, just as a placeholder. Cause I can't wait any longer. It's, <laughs> it's frustrating. But anyway, this was my overall thoughts on The Cruel Prince. I think overall rating, it's gonna be a three star. Not as good as the first time. But then again, I think in the first time I did give a three and a half. I don't know, this is definitely the weakest of the series just because it's so slow build. And there's not a lot of Cardin in this. And Jude is just like obviously the centerpiece of the story. Everything revolves around her. But even then, like, it's just more like building up her skills and that kind of thing. But anyway, that was my thoughts. So thank you so much for watching. And let me know what you thought about The Cruel Prince if you read it. If not, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.